Hello, I'm Martin from Martin and Helen's Motorhome Trex. We're going to try something new this week. Uh, as a result of being away and taking some feedback off our people who watch our channel and running a YouTube poll, there's clearly a need for us to talk a little bit more about some of the experiences that we've had and share a bit more Motorhome specific advice with you. But don't worry, we're not doing product advice. And as one rather amusing comment said, don't make it like a QVC channel. We'd have no intentions of getting into products. But we will try and share with you some of the decisions that we've made that have influenced us. That's not to say it's the only way of doing things, it's just being our way. And that might change in time as we learn more, and we certainly don't see ourselves as the overall oracle of all information. So we're going to start every Tuesday with a 10 minute video with a subject that's either set by yourselves or by one that we've picked, which we think will be helpful to you. So this Tuesday, the first one, Helen's going to talk about the costs associated with our last tour, which although it's very tour specific, will give you some idea of what it costs to, in, to go on that kind of period of time holiday in your motorhome, camper van, or pulling your caravan. We hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And leave us any comments or questions, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. I'm going to tell you about the six associated costs with the trip that we've just been on. That's ferry, insurance, sites, fuels, tolls, and low emission zone stickers. So just as a reminder, this was a six week tour, seven countries and 19 stopovers. So the first cost was the ferry. Now we went out from Harwich to the Hook of Holland. We had a pet cabin and an outside cabin, which meant that we had uh, basically a porthole with a view. The total cost of that ferry with the return trip was 461 pounds. When we go on a trip, we always use the Caravan and Motor Home Club Red Pennant and the insurance for this trip cost us £230. The next biggest expense was sites and airs, or stell plats, whichever country you're in, they've all got a different name. We used 14, sorry, we used five sites and 14 airs or stell plazas, and the total cost was £775 for the whole tour. Fuel, a big issue. Um, we travelled just shy of 2,000 miles and the total cost of fuel in all the countries we went to was £581. The cheapest fuel we found was in Luxembourg, the most expensive, unsurprisingly, was in the UK. Next cost was gas and LPG. Now we found that everywhere we went it was very easy to, to buy, to purchase in fuel stations and in most countries it was at least half price. Um, than the UK. We only spent £17 on gas during the whole trip. We have two six kilogram gas containers in the van and we always refuel when we've used one. I think we filled up about four times. Tolls, another big issue. We had to um, use tolls in three countries, Poland, the Czech Republic and Austria. In Poland, um, the, fuel, the toll costs were £19. That was via um, paying at the toll booths or on an app. If you do have to preload the app, if you have any money left in Zloty, they will credit you very, very quickly once you've finished your journey through Poland. In the Czech Republic, our toll fees were only £3, but you have to get a My Czech Toll box. That's because we're over three and a half tonnes. Again, there's a deposit to pay, and you have to preload it. But again, once you've returned the box, the deposit and the extra amount remaining on the toll box is given back to you very quickly. The biggest toll fees we found were in Austria and we spent 141 pounds in Austria on tolls. Again, it's a, it's a, a toll box that you purchase and again, the deposit and any money left on it is credited back to you within about three days we found from Austria. We also had to get two low emission zone stickers. Uh, one was for Germany and the other was for Austria. We purchased those before we went and the total cost of those two stickers was £42.73. That meant the total cost of our six week tour in all the places that we went to was £2,252.73. Now we do appreciate that this was our choices, our mode of transport, all the countries that we visited. Um, I'm sure that some people could do it cheaper and of course you could incur more expense by staying on more sites. But these were purely the choices that we made to maximise our grand tour. 
I hope you found that informative. If you've got any questions, any um, information that you want about any specific sites, um, then please put a comment in the box below. We, we answer every single comment. So that's it. Helen out.